Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for November 11th, 2020. I do want to say thank you to every veteran out there. We honor you. We are so grateful for everything that you've given us and be always blessed for everyone who's here on the earth still and for all those who are on the other side. Now, as we begin today, Again, I do apologize for getting this up late. You guys know I've been struggling here the past week or so with a sinus infection. And, um, you know, I just have to kind of jump in when it feels okay. <laughs> so I'm feeling better. I'm on the mend here. But, you know, every once in a while, it's just kind of hits me with a headache and such. So anyway, we're doing good now. Let's get into it. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. So this has a different kind of feel about it. Okay. So for some of you out there, if you immediately said, oh, this isn't for me. You know, I'm already in a relationship. It's all good. You can still have a new romantic cycle within a connected, uh, you know, relationship that you have now. Or if you're single, there could be something coming in. But pay attention to the Libra aspect of it, okay? This is something beautiful and balanced and fair <laughs> and, you know, very balanced. So it, it doesn't have this feel of being ungrounded, okay? So this is like the true love kind of thing. How many of us have witnessed people, they're in the fantasy version of a love partnership and they're going out touting, look at how great my relationship is. And then when it ends, they might even say, this is my twin flame. This is my soulmate, you know, all these things. And it's ungrounded. They just tell themselves that. This is not the kind of thing that we're talking about. We're not talking about a fairy tale story. We're talking about real heart to heart connection real soul connection, which again, I believe we said it yesterday, it feels like coming home. And that's why a lot, especially, especially if you're an empath, a lot of very sensitive people or, you know, people that we are labeling light workers and such, a lot of times they will remain alone until that real connection comes along because there's an awareness there. We know what real love is. And when we look around and we see people just pairing off just to say they have someone, just because we're in a society that says if you aren't married by a certain age, there's something wrong with you. We see right through it. And we say no to it. And we wait. So for some people, you know, it could be the waiting is done. <laughs> and for yet others, there could be this feeling here of understanding what we just explained here. And understanding, yeah, I do want that deep connection. Okay, then we have the Cabochons. We have Archangel Raphael and Archangel Zadkiel. So Zadkiel is all about transmutation, taking on that different perspective, taking what seems to be negative. Some of you out there who are listening, you're going, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm single. I can't believe I'm single. I can't believe I'm single. Blah, 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 you know, the whole thing. And <laughs> Archangel Raphael helps you heal your heart. So this might be a day where you realize I need to heal some aspect of me. And by the way, Archangel Raphael does... Uh, is thought to be one of the archangels that helps with soulmates. Soulmates of all kinds. But, you know, this can be, uh, just again, with Zadkiel and Raphael, understanding that deep, deep, deep connection and what that feels like. Not what you think it feels like, but what it actually is. And transmuting this idea of, oh, I'm bad if I'm single or, oh, I'm bad if I'm in a relationship and I'm having trouble right now. You're not bad. It's just time to take some of those lower frequencies and transmute them so that you can learn from that experience, so that you can learn about yourself. And then Raphael can come on in and help you open your heart. So we're going to leave you with that. It's up to you what you want to do with it. All right? I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.